Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and there's nothing I love more than a noisy firehouse. We're hearing bells, talking, got guys everywhere. I am here in Blue Point, Long Island, with George Stout. He's gonna make some pork loin, some crazy potatoes, and some stream beans. Now, stream beans aren't my favorite, but George is gonna put me through the test to see if I like his stuff. Now, behind me is a brush fire truck. This is some piece of apparatus. This can go through trees, go through anything, so we can get the forest fires, and I thought, I should do the opening in front of this beast. So we're down here in Blue Point. Let's eat some pork loin with George Stout on Firehouse Kitchen. All right, we're here in the Blue Point Fire Department. We're here with George Stout. What's up, George? How you doing, Ray? Long right. time no see. Long time no see. George is a very big friend of the Firehouse Kitchen TV show. He was on our first season with Joe Bonanno. Yeah. And now uh, he's on it again. He was such a good guest. We're having him on again. And we're going to make some BPPL. Some blue point pork loin. Pork loin. It looks like a pork lion. This looks like what we're eating here. All right, so uh, let's get started, George. Let's make a... Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a little aluminum foil. All right. I uh, need the knife over there, please. All right, here we go. Here Thank we you. Find the handle, very and, safe. And uh, to be sanitary, we're gonna put on a few pair of gloves. Okay, I got a pair right over here. In line with Suffolk County Health Department code, All right. we keep everything. Usually in the fire department, you know, botulism is one of our favorite things. So yeah. No, I'm joking. Goes with mashed potatoes and beans. I usually score lightly the top of the roast on the fat side. Okay. Wow. Now, what does that do? Is that let it breathe, let the juices get in? It lets all the juices now go into the meat because usually underneath this fat layer is a tendon. Okay. And this also helps break that down a little bit. All right. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of the dry rub, put it across the bottom of the. Now, what is in this dry rub? Is this a special dry oh, rub? Is this your secret ingredient? This is my secret ingredient dry right. rub. I developed this dry rub about three years ago to use with our chicken barbecue. All right. And it so, turns out it's capable of being used on a lot of different things. In fact, I think I might have given you some last year. You gave me some last year. My wife put it on steak. She put it on just about everything. Everything. And it's delicious. And use it, uh, use it very sparingly because it does have a tendency to be a little powerful. So when the recipe appears on the website, are we going to call it George's Secret Dry Rub, and then you'll send it to him? Geo's Dry Rub. I All can right, do so that. we'll send you some. We'll send you some some uh, some George Stout Dry Rub. Massage it in a little bit. All right. Well done. What I do now is I'll put three strips of bacon on there. I think you'll find the bacon All on right. the other side. And how we say in just about every show, the more bacon the better. Absolutely. What, what doesn't go with bacon? Uh, peanut butter. Uh, no, peanut butter. No, I've bacon. heard Peter people using <laughs> peanut butter and bacon. All right. We'll lay the three strips across. Okay. This will impart a little more of a smoky flavor to it. All right. So it tastes more like a barbecue. Pork loin. Take this, roll it up nice and tight, okay. seal the ends. I do a little, there yeah, you go. Yeah, a little thing there. It's like a present. I usually put it on a rack so it gets nice, even heat all the way around. All right, I like this. Stick it in. Now, the only downside of this is it goes into an oven at approximately 250 degrees for three to four hours. Okay. For this whole thing to really roast it. Now, how many, this piece of loin right here, was this two guys? This would be, well, I'm joking. Maybe, maybe our size, yeah. <laughs> but no, this is for a family, this would handle a family of maybe six. Okay, all right, so there you go. So now we, we're gonna take this, throw it into the oven at uh, 225 degrees and let it sit. And we're all done. All right, so we're gonna get ready for the portobello mushrooms and the Yingling potatoes. Yingling potatoes. With every meat, you should have a starch and a vegetable. So the next thing we're going to do is the starch. All right, so we're going to get ready with that, and we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip is always wear your life jacket on a boat. Now, you, if you're 12 or 15 years old, you might not think it's cool, all right? But this is going to save your life. Now, this is a pretty intense life jacket that I have here. Any life jacket is going to save you. In case we have to deploy this boat because your boat flipped over or because you went into the water, we will find you so much easier if you have a life jacket on. Also, it's gonna keep you afloat so you don't drown, all right? So, if you're on a boat, always wear your life jacket. I'm Firefighter Ray, and these tips save lives.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that safety tip. That's for your safety. And remember, those tips save lives. Uh, George, now we're going to make our yearling potatoes. Yes, with right. uh, rosemary, fresh rosemary, rosemary. chopped up, a few, little bit of white onion, and portobello mushrooms. Okay. Okay. So, going to cut up. And if you don't mind, Ray, could you uh, grab a knife out of the box? And... All right, I'm going to the toolbox. I love this. The fact that you have a toolbox full of cooking stuff. And I'm going to grab the paring knife. You had a paring knife right. right in the front. Oh, right in the front. There it is. Okay. And just knife. slice those thinly. Slice those thinly. Are we going to use the stems? We're going to use everything. Okay, you know what? Why don't we move these over to the side a little bit? Yep. All right. done with that. I'll keep myself some, just so I can show America what I'm cutting. And yeah. he does know how to do it. And now, you know what? I get made fun of most shows for cutting. I know. Because... <laughs> I think uh, I don't cut my hand off. Well, but that, we're doing good. You, you realize, of course, I'm concerned. <laughs> George is very concerned. It's all right. We're all EMS certified, right? And uh, CFRD. That's it. That's it. That's what's always good. About that. I almost just stuck over my finger right there, George. I almost. Oh, this I is saw a very that. sharp knife. His I saw knife that. is very sharp. Okay. And okay. That's fine. Is that good? Am that's fine. Good. All right. I'll Stick them all in the bowl. You got it. Next, we're gonna take. Bring the potatoes in. All right. Pour the So we're going to pour these into the potatoes. We're not in. slicing these bad boys at all? Nope. That's as big as they're going to be. Now I said these look like medieval vegetables that we have here. They're bite size. They're bite size. All right. Very good. Then we're going to take some onions and just gently break those things up. Stick them in there. Right over the all top. All done. I love it. Awesome. Now we're going to take some EVO. And okay. I like using the spray because you don't get oil concentrated in one spot. Now, this is EDO. This is like Pam. Extra virgin olive oil. That's Extra it. virgin olive oil. I put it virgin in. Virgin olive oil. I put it into a okay. spray container because if you see, it gives it a nice even coating all the way around. That's pretty cool. I've actually never seen it in a spray container like We're that. We're going to take the rose, fresh rosemary that we chopped Everybody up earlier. Everybody loves rosemary. She's always the uh, bell of the ball. We're going to take a little kosher salt. OK. Some Coarse ground black pepper, uh, and we're going to take and toss this. How about a little, not a little spray of uh, oil. Little spray. Little spray. Little. little oh, bit. we have to. We have there we go. A little bit of love is. I hate to say it. Normally, I use a bowl that's about three times as big. Okay. Okay. That's ready to go. If right. you'll uh, get the tray that's underneath. Okay. We'll take our tray. We'll take this out. Lay it down. Okay, you want to put a little oil on it first? Absolutely, just to... So it doesn't stick? Oh, it's going to stick no matter what. Never make pigs in the blanket. I always forget to do that. Spread these it's out a little disaster. bit. And we're going to take and put this in right underneath the pork loin. All right, let's do that. And in she goes. Okay, so we got our pork loin cooking. That's it. We have our yearling... Potatoes. Potatoes. That was in the yearling, a baby... Deer or something like that? Is there deer in the... Is that a... No, I don't know. I'm just saying. Okay, so, anyway. So now we're... Next course is going to be the green beans. Green beans. In uh, roasted, sautéed in peanut oil. Okay. With sesame oil and sesame seeds and some sweet red onion. Uh, so we got, our, we got our meat. We got our starch. And now we have our vegetables. And now we'll go with our vegetables. Let's go with our vegetables. All right. So let's okay. grab uh, Let's grab what we got. Well, one thing is I always like to work with a clean station. So. All right. So we're going to clean up, and we'll be right back. All right. We got our meat, our BPPL, our Blue Point Pork One. We have our yearling potatoes. Right. And now we are going to make something with stream beans, which is not my favorite vegetable, <laughs> OK? But I have had it. Where if you make it right, I will eat my stream beans. Okay? I think you're gonna like. Okay, I think I'm gonna like. Cause this, when I was a little kid, this was like my hardest, you know, thing. Like my mom would make stream beans, and I really? was like, oh my, I was like the worst. See, my day was ruined. If mine was asparagus. Now I love it. Yeah, I do. I love asparagus too. Yeah. Do you have any, uh, any, um, anything in the firehouse like uh, that you made a meal? All the guys would freak out that they, uh, you know, like a plundered meal. The only plundered meal we had here was about. 15 years ago, okay. a couple of the guys asked for waffles and ice cream. Okay. So we made waffles and ice cream. We're still hearing about it today. Now, I, I have to ask, George, what went wrong with waffles and ice cream? I don't know. Yeah. 
I guess was it bad ice cream or was it? No, uh, they, they just what? What are you serving us? You know, come on. Where's where's the meat and potatoes? Oh, so yeah, they didn't like the meal itself. No, they didn't like the meal itself. Uh, did you have any chocolate syrup? Because chocolate syrup might have. Oh, we had chocolate syrup, strawberry syrup. We had a lot, uh, you know, sprinkles, everything. You know, what's and they were all like five. And what a bunch of babies. Yeah. Well, been the five. It's blue point. Yeah, I'll, yeah. They're very particular. Find them all the biggest babies if you don't give them what they want. All right, so what are we gonna do first? Well, I'm gonna dice up this last sweet okay. red pepper. It's not is, hot. No, no, not okay. hot. It may look like a, a, right. a jalapeno you. that's over ripened, but it really isn't. These are sweet. In fact, if you want to try a little bit. All right, I will try a little bit. Oh, very sweet. Wow. And they look like little eights. There you go. Infinity. We're gonna take those and mm. put them in there. Okay. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is heat up the oil. What are we doing with this little piece? You wanna eat it? I'm gonna eat that little piece. That's delicious. This is right. uh, peanut oil. Mm -hmm. Stands high temperatures and uh, low smoke. So we're gonna put about eh, two, three tablespoons in there. Turn it on. Okay. But eventually it will come on. Good stove, darling. And this is an old stove. Then once that gets up to temperature, if you don't mind, there's a small pair of tongs over there. Okay. The, the tools. The tools for trade. Thank you, sir. Now, are we cutting these bad boys up at all? Or? No, straight up just like that. Stream means just, just how they were born. We let this heat up for a little bit. So that it, if the oil isn't hot enough, it ends up soaking into the bean. Because you'll see that the bean, it's relatively dry. These are fresh beans, even okay. though they were frozen. So if the oil is not hot enough, it's gonna soak right into it and it's gonna make for a mushy bean. We don't want a so mushy bean. you want bean. something that's gonna brown, give you some little char marks on it, look nice. Okay. Okay. Now what other ingredients do we have here? We have the sesame oil. Okay. We have a little lemon juice. Lemon juice. And of course the sesame seeds and the sweet red peppers. All right, I like sesame seeds. Okay. All right. We're also gonna add a little salt and pepper, a seasoning, okay. it really even though it's not all that, salt. that's not all going in. Just, no, you're not doing right, that. I, no, say, that uh, I seem to recall an incident where about that much went into something else. You don't remember that. Is that what happened with the, with the chili? Uh, no, that's what happened with the with shrimp the, scampi. With the shrimp scampi? Yeah. What happened? We dropped the whole uh... whole thing went in. It was not pretty. Did, we, keep, not pretty. did we eat it? Yeah, we did. Good and man. we smiled, <sighs> too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to put about uh, a little over a handful in here. Okay. Maybe a little more. And you can hear, right away, it's sizzling up. Temperature's good. All right. Any tongs at all? Or, uh, no? Not yet. OK. Next, we're going to add the sesame oil. A little sesame oil. Open sesame. Hold it. We're going to do a little seasoning with salt. We're going to add a little pepper. A little salt, a little pepper, make everything nice. Tongs, stir it up. Tongs. We're not gonna flip it yet. Okay. I don't know if you can smell it, but you can smell the sesame oil. Oh, yeah. And you see they're starting to crack oh. up a little bit. Wow, I just got a big hit over here with sesame oil. Yep. Wow. Now we're gonna add the... My infinity? The infinity peppers. There you go. Number eight. Aces and eights, baby. Yeah, we split them. Aces and eights. All right. You got that down pretty good. Keep that going. If I did that, I'd, I'd probably hit myself in the face with, with scalding oil and. You want to try it? No. Okay. Stir it around a little bit. Now, the, the idea is to just get them a little bit blackened okay. and not burnt. Because now they're softening up right now. Oh, they're, you want them crispy. Okay. You want a little crunch to them. A little bit of crunch. A little bit so of you crunch. get the flavor not only of the sesame, but you also get the flavor of the bean. Okay. okay. You can uh, see all the little black pepper in there. It's starting awesome. to brown up. It's unbelievable. Now, it's George, how long have you been dissolved. a Blue Point Five? Uh, what am I working on now? I joined in 89. 2014, I'm working on my 26th year. 26 years as a fireman. What made you get into the fire department? Um, well, I served in, uh, I was in the Navy in Vietnam, and I 
of like the camaraderie that was there. Okay. We all had to learn firefighting, and I found it quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So when I got out, I really, I started a family. And when the kids got old enough, one of the older members here said to me, come on, join up. It's a lot of fun. You'll have a good time. And I've been doing it ever since. That's it. So. How do you like all the, uh, the, the busting the chops? And the... Oh, like any... So, uh, yeah, that's because I know that's in the military they're doing. Yeah, you know, there's busting chops all over. Yeah. Now, we're almost done with this. So what I'm going to do is now the last item we add is the sesame, is seed. The sesame seed. OK. So we're going to put those on. Now, we don't put those on too early because they'll get too soft. Right, right. or they burn up. Because you know, we want crunchy. crispy critters. Wow, that looks good. Oh, baby, I am going to have some of these stream beans. And last but not least, we're going to add the lemon juice. A little lemon juice. A little splash of lemon juice in there. This is the first time I'm excited to try some stream beans. They and look we're all delicioso. Set. Next thing we do is we plate. We're going to plate right from here. OK, right so let's get ready here. to plate, and then we'll uh, go from there. We'll get the pork loin out, we'll get the potatoes out, and okay. we'll plate it up and be ready to go. And then we'll chow down. You got it. And I'm going to have myself some BP. PL, Blue Point Park one, <laughs> some yearling <laughs> potatoes, and, and uh, green beans in sesame oil. Green beans in sesame oil. We're going to work on the name of that. That's a little plain. Want to try that? Green bean. All right, here we go. I'm going to try a green bean before. Wow. George, whenever my wife makes green beans, I'm going to have to have you come over. <laughs> Oh, I have She's going to hate me. Yeah. <laughs> no, my wife my wife are very good. All right. We're going to plate everything up. And let's do it. Let's do some plate. OK? OK. All right, we're right back. Awesome. All right, now, before we plate, I got to bring out this toolbox. I think this is the coolest thing. You would only see this in a firehouse kitchen, OK? We have a toolbox here full of all cooking tools. Cooking tools. Oh, baby. Everything that uh, I've acquired over the years, I end up using. Because a lot of times I will go into, I've been asked to cook in locations where they just don't have tools. They may have a stove, they have a refrigerator, they've got some spoons, but they really don't have any tools. And if you, and I know like if you go to a lot of firehouses, especially volunteer firehouses, everything's locked up. You get there, you know, and then you, and they know. Yeah, I mean, you go to some fire volunteer firehouses. I even know my 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 volunteer firehouse is Bayport, and uh, we did a show there, and I had to run home and get knives because the knives were locked up. Yep. You know, and uh, either I that, didn't have the key. I didn't have the key. Well, the other part of that is the knives are out, but they are so dull you can't even cut yes. correct. Yes. Yes, I can see that these are. Uh, you got all the little safety. Yeah, be careful. The little <laughs> knife throwing here. Yeah. But I got everything. This is for hacksaws. It's a. Uh, it's my brass knuckles. So that's your they, brass knuckles? I a, okay. I get a host. He's going to kill a chicken? When I get a host yeah. that's out of line, I just kind of like, hey. OK. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's what you're going to put me in my place with? All right, this is incredible. All right, let's put this away, and let's eat some BPPL. Yeah. You need the coffee knife? Uh, it's the uh, one. Let's get the coffee oh, knife. Oh, it's right there next to it. Oh, next to it, OK. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to bring out the pork loin first. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> All right. Yes, it's hot. All right, now, now while this was cooking, we went juice. downstairs, me and George, and, and we got to enjoy some Blue Point's finest Blue Point brewery. <laughs> now, be it careful. Toasted lager. Yes, I feel it. There's a lot of juice in here, so you got to be careful when you open these things up. Do we want to lose that juice? Not really. Ready? And it's really hot, and we want to try and keep the juices oh, in there. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. If you can oh. get the large tongs that are Let's over put there. Put that on, on my the plate. Table. The whole thing? I'll eat that whole thing. Yeah. Are you kidding me? We're going to take this out of here and very carefully set it over here. All right. Nice angle. Put that down. And now we're going to take not this. Lose any juice. No, we try not to. Because if you want to make a gravy, it's ideal for making the gravy. Put that into a pot, add a little flour, heat it up, okay. let it brown, and you're all set and ready to go. So we have two plates. All right. What now, this mean? stuff is good to cut relatively thin. You want an end piece or you want a middle? I'll take an end piece. Mm -hmm. I'll take anything I can get my hands on. Okay. 
Now you can see how tender this stuff is. I'm just gonna, you know what, I should really taste Go it. Go for first. it. Oh my gosh. Look how it just falls apart. George, I think this is right up there with those steaks. This Thank is you. unbelievable. Now, normally when I serve this here at the firehouse, mm. I try to do uh, two or three slices per person. Okay. Set this up. And if I do have the time, I will make a gravy. So there are those two. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the potatoes. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Let me have those tongs. I'm going to put this bad boy right back in the gravy. Yeah, put it so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So bring the taters over. Well, I'm gonna bring them as close as I can because boy, they are hot. <laughs> they are hot? Yeah. All right. And it looks like it's from medieval times. Oh my goodness. We're gonna take a few of these things out of here. Can I have some crumpets? Can I have some potatoes? Taters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're having too much fun here. Yes, all right. <laughs> Okay. But that's how it is in the kitchen. It's always, always laughs. In you the have fire to. department, it's always laughs. You have to, otherwise you go yeah. crazy. And last but not least, we're gonna plate up some of these beans. Okay. All right, these look beautiful. We're gonna go downstairs and we'll eat this, this delicious food. We got our BPPL, Blue Point Pork Loin, our yearling potatoes, and our, we call it sesame, uh, sesame green beans. So let's Got go downstairs and let's enjoy, let's enjoy some, uh, some pork loin. All, All right, right sir. let's do it. Okay. All right, now we're here on the apparatus floor. So you hear radios, I hear fans, I hear all kinds, we're gonna hear sirens, all kinds of crazy things. Everything that goes on normally every day here. Yeah. All right, now I decided to sit on the boat with George because they didn't have this boat last year when we were here right. for Firehouse Kitchen. And it, this is some boat. This is, uh, how long is this? 32 footer. A 32 foot rescue boat. Um, With twin 225 Honda four stroke engines. Twin 225s. How bad this bad boy go? About 50? Uh, we haven't clocked it yet. I see. I would do that first. Commissioners won't let us clock it. So. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, let's taste. By all means. All right, let's see. I'm going to start with my pork loin. Oh my goodness. Good as always. Oh, baby. But, George, this is amazing. Glad you like it. You can get George's recipe on our website, firehousekitchenshow.com. You can also find out how to donate to the Islip Town Fire Museum on our website, firehousekitchenshow.com. Friend us on Facebook. Um, if you want your firehouse to be on Firehouse Kitchen, you got, you got some ingredients. So you could be the next George Stout. Firehouse Kitchen will come down and visit you. All right, George, thank you so much. Oh, there we go. I'm dropping potatoes all over the place. Catch that potato. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you next time on Firehouse Kitchen. Yeah! All right, beautiful. Let's eat up. <laughs>